Um, we're almost halfway through, so it's important for us to take stock, slow down a little bit, take stock, and to really figure out where we need to, to be headed and what we need to, to do in order to get ourselves there. And so one other thing I'm feeling for you, and this is the first message out, and you know, I've done, I've done, let me see, you're the 10th sign. And the, the one message that I have for you here is do not procrastinate on a decision. Okay. You need to make a move. You need to really fight for what you believe in. You need to really advocate for yourself, advocate for yourself. And you really need to, you know, give your grievances, give your, whatever you're unhappy with, whatever you feel that you don't deserve or whatever you feel, you know, it has been unfair. You really need to stand up and you really need to defend yourself and defend the things that you love, the people that you love and to really, you know, go after what you feel is not right. Okay. Like go after meaning air out your grievances, uh, speak up. And, you know, really defend your honor and defend the people that you care about, defend, defend the things that you want in your life. And so this period of waiting, assessing whether or not things are going to work out, I feel that, you know, it's, um, it's done and over with. You're already in a new situation and there's only one way to move forward. And it requires a lot of effort from your end. Okay. And when it requires effort from your end, as you know, the earth sign, as uh, one of the most methodical, but also slow moving signs, it's really important for you to be a lot more aggressive and a lot more assertive in order to grab the opportunities that are trying to come in and in order to, you know, assert yourself to get what you want to get what you want here with the um, Ace of Wands. This is basically new beginnings, new project, new bursts of passion. And so I feel, once again, it echoes, you know, the, the monthly reading where I mentioned that you need to speak up for somebody, you need to defend somebody. So my advice overall for this spread is that we've been on the fence for too long. And we really need to make a decision. And the decision is, um, it requires a lot of change. It brings about newness. And I feel that some of you are just happy, very happy with the status quo. And you're not really sure the new energies will be, will drive well with you. And, um, so you're hesitant about, you know, moving forward. You're hesitant about taking a leap of faith. You're hesitant about, whether or not it's the right thing to, to do because right now things are stable things are really good i feel a lot of contentment just personal joy personal contentment personal leisure time coming through for you guys so if you want to take that extra job you know or that new job it might come up with a lot more responsibilities that might uh, interfere with your free time interfere with the status quo and so I feel that right now you're in a comfortable position. So you don't feel like the need to push forward. But I do sense that you're, you're being pulled to push forward, mainly because you're meant to do something else. You're meant to be somewhere else and you're meant to do more than this. Okay. If you think about, you know, overall the, um, the court cards, this is the, let me see. This is the princess of pentacles. So this is like the page of pentacles. And if we think about our progression, right, as an earth sign, this is car a card that represents you. If we think about your progression, we start out as a page, we um, advance into a knight, we advance into a queen, and then we end up being the king where we're on top of the game, we make money, and we're just very stable. So I feel that you're just starting out. You're just starting out. So don't be content with this. Aim more. Aim for more. Aim for a lot more uh, prosperity. Aim for a lot more, you know, new challenging experiences. And at the same time, aim for better income generating potential. Aim for opportunities to improve your skills. Aim for just, you know, holistically developing all of your skills, all of your assets to the best of your capabilities. So if you're just starting out and you're shying away from conflict, you're shying away from conflict. And if you're just starting out and all these responsibilities are starting to pile up and you feel like it's happening too fast, I'm not ready. And the universe is pretty much telling you that, you know, 
you are ready. You're just very secure and um, safe with the status quo. And that's one of the reasons why you're not moving things along. So it's not that you're not ready. It's just you're content. And contentment is, is, is usually very good, you know, because I feel like it took you a really long time to struggle to get to this present moment where you're content. But you're meant for a lot more and you're meant to do more and your capabilities need to be developed. Your potential needs to be developed because, um, you know, we're, we're all here to develop ourselves to the best of our capabilities. Right. And um, so that's that's the message that I have for you overwhelmingly. Um, I'm feeling like there's a lot of fear, you know, like um, I understand. I understand that some of you, you know, it, it's a, it's been a rocky road. And uh, going back to that metaphor with the goat, you know, how you start off at the base of the mountain, you have to jump through cliffs. You've had to put yourself through perilous, you know, journeys, precarious situations to get yourself up on top of the mountain. And every once in a while, you see the, the top of the mountain and you're just like, I want to take a break for a little bit. I just want to, you know, experience this safety. I just want to be calm and in the moment to really enjoy this view, right? But then in the process of looking down, you know, from our vantage point, we look down and we see all the sharp rocks, right? We see, we, we see everything that we've overcome. By looking down, we can also get that sense of vertigo, that fear of failure, that fear of falling. And, um, you know, while the scenery is great where you are, the scenery is even better on top of that mountain. So I feel you have opportunities coming through. And, um, you know, these, these, I feel like these, uh, excuses that you tell yourself, I'm not going to do that. You know, that's, that's, I'm never going to land that job or I'm not going to make that much money. I feel like these are, um, excuses that you tell yourself because you, you want to play it safe and then I also feel a big part of you too it's almost like you don't feel you deserve more it seems to me like you've worked so hard to get this this much and you feel like you don't deserve any more than than what you've gotten and that's not a right way that's not a healthy way to look at life overall okay so I really, really love, love Capricorns. I have um, two of my closest friends are Capricorns and I always come to them for advice, career advice, because, you know, they've started from the bottom and they've worked their way up. They're very, very amazing, amazing people. And uh, I love them more than anything because they're very emotionally detached and I like that because they can give you very good advice that's unbiased and filtered. And um, that's very specifically geared towards you. And so I feel that Capricorns, you have so much potential. And uh, you're very humble too. And I feel like, you know, in your quiet way, you go about your own task. And even when there's um, a lot of tasks imposed upon you, you don't complain like the Virgos. You guys don't complain. You You get through it. You rough through it. And the point here is that you deserve a lot more because you take on a lot and you've been through a lot. So you, you deserve a lot, a lot more. Okay. Things will be good. I feel that it's just telling you to move. It's telling you to roll with the punches. It's telling you to take risks and it's telling you to make those phone calls. I see you guys kind of like on the edge of your seat, you know, trying to play it cool. But I feel like you're anxiously waiting on the decision from an institution. You're anxiously waiting on something. So I feel some of you are waiting on a major decision where you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you can't really move forward until a, um, uh, an official body, possibly a group of people, an official body, a, a group of panel like a bunch of people on a panel or a bunch of people in your work environment, you can't really move until they make a decision to move forward until they make up their mind, until they finalize some plans. And then other people are looking at a situation where they mention a spectacular feat, watching somebody pull out, pull off something that you never in your life would dare to do. So it could be like a street performer 
It could even be, you know, like a magician, for example, like a street performer, a magician, somebody who is um, who has a lot of visibility, like a, a stage performer or something like that. But I feel like in the mundane sense, it could be somebody that, you know, who is very daring and who's pulling off something and you're rooting for them, but you're just like, how are they going to manage to pull that off? But they are going to manage to pull it off. So I feel like you've got a lot to learn the next two weeks. Watch what that person is doing and, you know, really think about how you can also either walk in their footsteps or take away some of the lessons that you've learned about how they're able to successfully implement something that you yourself deem is impossible. Okay. Uh, what I feel happening though is uh, all of these things are coming through mainly because a lot of the times I sense that, you know, you, you, you are a very good judge of your own capabilities, right? But I feel that because you focus so much, you and the Virgos, you guys focus so much on your shortcomings, on your flaws, that you tend to think a little bit too much on the pessimistic side, okay? So you're watch some, watching somebody with a lot of skills, you're watching somebody with a lot of self-confidence, and they're pulling something off that is really spectacular, and you're really happy for them, but it's, it's making you feel very anxious, very on the edge of your seat, and you don't like that feeling. You, you don't like that feeling of uncertainty, but in life, we can't be 100% certain 100% of the time. So this next two weeks is really a lesson for you about, you know, letting go of these, um, I want to say like emotional baggage that you have regarding your self-worth, regarding your own capabilities, regarding, you know, whether or not you have the, I guess, like the, the skills and the I, I guess qualifications to pull something off. The point here is you can, but you're letting a lot of fear hold you back. So the fact that you can, but you never try it basically means that you're letting these opportunities slip you by. Okay. And instead you're on the sidelines watching somebody pull things off in a very magical, spectacular way. So I feel that you're going to feel very inspired for the next two weeks, Capricorn. They mentioned that a long cherished wish is going to come true. So I feel that you need to stop waiting on the sidelines. You need to grab life by the horns, whatever it is that you want to do. Even if you feel like I have no control over the situation or I need other people to buy into this project, this thing before I can start it because I don't want to be on my own when if it fails. And so the thing is, dwell on the optimistic side, okay? Focus on what you can accomplish. Focus on how it's going to drastically change the environment for the better for everybody involved. And focus on that. Don't dwell on those negative thoughts because I feel like it's feeding into, um, it, it's feeding into, you know, energy that is, can create a lot of blockages for you. So I feel that, you know, don't go against, um, don't go against your goodwill and especially don't question your capabilities, Capricorn. Somebody is pulling it off and I feel like, a uh, a bunch of you might wish you were in their shoes, that you had the guts, that you had the, you know, um, I, I guess like the confidence to do what they're doing. So I feel that you're learning by watching. Okay. I feel it's going to be a, a really good two weeks for you to overcome some of these, you know, emotional baggages that we've been carrying around for quite some time that we might not even be aware of. We might not even know that they've been holding us back, but you're going to do this massive emotional dump. And I feel that all of these things are kind of, um, you're going to feel this overwhelming lightness on your shoulders, on your chest, and it's going to be a really phenomenal two weeks for you guys.